Hello, Balloon World. I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister, and this time I'm going to teach you how to make a balloon platypus. I love this design because it's quick and easy, and it's so cute! Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need three 260s. I'll be using a yellow goldenrod 260 for the beak, a white 260 for the eyes, and a blue 260 for the body. Let's start with the eyes. Get your white 260 out and inflate it one third of the way. Let's them out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch so it's soft. We're gonna twist a seam about two inches long and follow that up with another one two inches long. So these two bubbles here should be about the same size. Now take that knot and wrap it into this seam over here. Oops, mine's not the same size. There we go. Now they're the same size. All right, I'm gonna take the knot and twist it into this seam. And then to keep it from coming undone on me, I'm gonna take that knot, I'm gonna push it through the center and out the other side. Now I just need to break part of this off. I'm gonna break it off high so I have slack to tie a knot, just like tearing duct tape. I let the air out and I tie a knot. And now I have the eyes. Next, we're gonna make the beak. Get your yellow goldenrod out and inflate it two thirds of the way. Let a little air out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch so that it's nice and soft for us. We're gonna twist two small flower petals. We're gonna fold it over like this, pinch the knot, and you can see it bend. That's a flower petal. You wanna twist it so that it's small, maybe about two inches across. Now we want another one just like that. So there are my two little flower petals. Now I'm gonna give the balloon another squeeze and a stretch. I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna make a big flower petal. And I'm actually gonna squeeze it while I twist it. Cause I want this one to be really soft so I can shape it later. You can see that one's about four inches across. The rest of this I don't need so I can break it off. Let it out slowly. This one I wanna use for the tail. So I'm gonna twist the seam and I'm gonna tie that one into a knot. So out of one balloon, we get the beak and we're gonna get the beaver tail for the platypus. If you're afraid of the beak coming undone, you can take the slack that we broke off and tie it in a knot. The remaining part of the yellow one, we're gonna use to make the tail, but we're gonna do that once we have the body done, which means it's time to make the body. Get your blue 260 out and inflate it two thirds of the way. Let a little air out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch so it's soft. We wanna make a large flower petal big enough for those eyes that we made to fit into, but we also want it to be soft. To keep it from coming undone, I'm gonna take that knot, I'm gonna push it through the center and out the other end. Now I can give it a squeeze and a stretch to keep it soft. I'm gonna go down a section for the neck. This is gonna be an inch and a half maybe two inches. Now I'm gonna twist two larger flower petals at about three inches. So you can see it's not huge, but it's not small either. You want it to be about that size. Now I have one, I need another one the same size. And there we go, we have those two right there. Now you can see that we're pretty much all the way at the end. So I'm gonna give this a squeeze, get the air all the way to the end. I'm gonna stretch it so the air gets evenly distributed. And then here on the end, I'm gonna twist a bubble, just a small little bubble, you know, about an inch. And then I'm gonna find out how long I want the rest of the body to be. I'm gonna come down about four inches. I'm gonna twist that bubble into that seam. Leaving me with this big loop. I'm gonna pull that loop taunt so I can find the center point over here. I'm gonna twist that seam into that bubble. I'm gonna adjust it so that it looks like this. And that's our body for the platypus. Now comes my favorite part, when I get to put it all together. I'm gonna take the eyes, I wanna put them right here through this hole. And the way I do that is I put them like this and I roll the blue balloon over it. Like that. So I have one eye on one side and one eye on the other. Straighten it up so that they're going straight up. It should look like that. Next, we're gonna attach the beak right here where the neck meets the head. 
where that little knot is. We're gonna work that in to where these three bubbles meet. I hold it like this and I just twist it. Easy as pie. I'm gonna move these two bubbles here for the cheeks to the back of the head. So it should look like that. Now you can tell that beak looks pretty round. We can square that off a little bit. We made it soft, so now we can bend it like this, pull it out, and give it a gentle massage. And that'll sort of square it off a little bit, make it look more like a duckbill. As in duckbill platypus. Ah, oh, last but not least is the tail. We're gonna take the two ends of the balloon that we have left. We're gonna twist them together like that. This one actually has a little too much air in it. So I'm gonna let a little bit of the air out by twisting a small bubble on the end, snapping my fingers and popping it like that, slowly letting some air out. If yours isn't overinflated, you don't have to do this. All right, now it's softer. Let a little bit more out, just in case. Awesome. But there we go. Now I have a much softer, that's important, you want it to be soft. I'm gonna take these two knots here, or the two ends of the balloon, make a big loop like a flower petal. I'm gonna twist it right here to that bubble on the bottom. So you want it to look like this so far. You can see on the bottom, it looks just like that. Now we get to adjust the tail a little bit by holding it together like this, pinching the top, getting the air out of it and letting it come back like that, and it'll actually bend it. And then we can do the same thing by massaging it over here. This bend just gives it a lot of personality, makes it look a lot more like a platypus tail. At least to me it does. And there we go, we're done with the balloon. Now it's time for the pin art. For the pin art, I recommend a black Sharpie and a white paint marker. First up is a black Sharpie. I'm gonna draw a large black circle on each one of the eyes. And now he has eyes. Ain't he cute? You're right, he could be a little bit cuter. That's why I use the white paint marker next. With the white paint marker, I'm gonna draw a little gleam of a circle in the top right corner of each eye. Ah, uh, now he's downright adorable. And we're done. One platypus made out of balloons. I can tell right now that this foot over here is deflating on me. I can twist it around to stop the deflating and just pretend like nothing happened. Or I can pop it and fix it. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna pretend like nothing happened. He has one small foot. Fortunately, he has a twin brother over here. Well, that's it for this video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed it, you can let me know by clicking that thumbs up button and tell me what you wanna learn next in the comments below. And if you really enjoyed it, why not subscribe to my channel? I do this kind of thing every Monday. And if you can't wait till next Monday, check out the playlist and in the description, I have over 100 balloon animal lessons. I'm Michael Ledger Balloon Twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons. Even a platypus.